Hello and welcome to the Fat Gent. For about the past probably 20 years, I've used a black uh, Mulberry wash bag. Now, I have a wee trip coming up in a couple of weeks' time, and I can't find the bag, it's disappeared somewhere. So, I decided to put myself together a new bag, and I thought it, it might make an interesting video just to show you what, uh, what I put in, or some of the items that I put into it, and what bag I decided to buy. Now, I was going to buy a replacement Mulberry, one of the black leather scotch grain, but I decided against it. Now, in a f future video, I'm going to highlight some of the reasons why I didn't go for it and show some other options. But just for this video and for this occasion, I discovered this bag. Quite a simple, it's a wax canvas and leather bag made by a company called Tusting. Now, Tusting are an old English company. Their goods are still made in England. Uh, everything's handmade. The wax canvas, I believe, is made up in Scotland. And uh, everything is, say, it's all made in England. And they do all leather options, which I was going to go for, but I decided just to try and cut down on the weight. Obviously, for for packing your suitcase at snack, you want to try and reduce as much weight inside it was possible so we went for the wax canvas and I must say I'm very very happy with it. Uh, I think it's going to age really really well. Just two compartments. It's got your main, your main compartment inside with a nice nice tusting leather patch on it and then a small separate pocket on the front which would be ideal for the like of nail clippers and any metal objects just to stop them from rusting. So that's the bag. Now, what do I put into it? I've recently discovered a subscription razor company called the Bearded Colonel. They send you this wee box, and in it you get three, four, five, whatever your subscription for heads are, and you get them every month or two months, whatever, whatever you choose. But the actual grind of the blade is similar to that. Of an old-fashioned cutthroat razor but just to give you an idea of the shape of the blade on them some people call them like a steeple grind so this company the, the bearded colonel they use the same grind on their uh, on their blades so move on to the shaving brush it's an Edwin Jagger or Jaeger, whatever you want to pronounce it, or Jaeger, whatever way you pronounce it, I don't, I don't really care. Um, and it's a good old fashioned silver tip badger brush, again handmade in England. Uh, silver tip is the best badger hair they can get, now it comes from China, where they're, they're called as being a bit of a nuisance to badgers. And, uh, I went for the silver tip because it's the best you get. So that's a nice wee item. Next thing, the shaving soap. It's the Trumpers line shaving soap. It's very, very nice. It comes in a nice turned wooden box. And really, uh, the smell is it's sublime. It is really, really nice. I've been using this type of soap for many years. Complement that, I've got the extract of limes, the West Indian extract of limes. Again, Trumpers comes in a very nice screw top bottle. It's a very uplifting. It almost smells like gin and tonic sometimes. It, it's if you haven't tried this, try it. Another aftershaver eau de toilette that I use is a Cuba. By check and speak. I check and speak are they're based in German Street in London and the Cuba is it's not for everybody it's very heavy. It's, I first bought it whenever I was in my early 20s and I put it and I smelled like it was disgusting it wasn't good. I smelled like a dirty unwashed biker you know all the leather and but I realised it just wasn't for me at that stage. A couple of years ago, 
I bought some more of it to give it another go. And the difference in my perception of it is, is, is amazing. I think of, it's going to sound silly, but I've sort of earned the right to wear it. It reminds me of a lot of holiday, it reminds me of a lot of parties and good times and travelling. There's a deep cigar, cigariness to it. There's deep leather notes to it. There's a bit of lime to it. There's rum to it. It's, it's really, really nice. But it's not for everybody. It's not for all occasions. If you're heading out for a big night, you could wear it in the morning. It will cover up the big night because it carries a lot of those notes on the, the rums and the lime and the aftershave and the leather. It carries all those scents on. So it's a great one. It's brilliant if you can carry it off. If you can't, it could turn your stomach. Uh, oh, right back to the the shaving the trumper we've got the extract of limes skin food you can use this before and after shaving feeds the skin nice and tingly a, a beautiful scent i use the kyle's facial fuel that's normally the green one that i that i would buy but i got a stack of this for christmas so i'm going through it and using this blue one but again you can't beat this soap wise I always carry a bar of this. 10% sulfur soap. Again, it's made in England. It's not a refined soap. I doubt it's triple or quadruple milk, whatever it is. It's just an old-fashioned bar of soap. But the sulfur is very good if you're in a bath. Put Pop the bar of soap into the bath. And it gives a... It doesn't smell nice. You wouldn't, put, you wouldn't have a bath in it if you're heading straight out. But for... A therapeutic sense it's very good they say a lot of the natural springs and the hot springs and hot baths have a high sulfur content which you can smell in the air so it's good it's good for the skin now i'll often bring a bar of hand soap with me because sometimes the ones you get in the hotels no matter how good a hotel they're wee they're skittery wee things they're not too good I like the O de Orange Vert. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. The Hermes. It's sublime. Comes in a plastic carrying case. It's probably one of the finest smelling soaps out there. Now, I will also use it. Don't have any on me now. I don't know where it is. The O de Orange Vert. Uh, Hermes. Eau de Toilette, the spray, beautiful, absolutely beautiful spray. Again, recommended to anybody to try. It smells of beautiful fresh oranges, but that sort of, the orange oil you get if you if you pinch the orange skin, you get that wee spray of oil, that's just the smell of it. And again, it's excellent. Birdie Balm, or Birdie Balm. It's like a wee cure-all balm. It's coconut, it's coconut based, I think there's camphor in it, I think there's manuka in it, it's it's good wee dressing for any insect bites, for any burns, for any wee cuts or grazes, it's just, it's something that's very handy to have in the bag, so it goes in. Tea tree oil, again for the same reason, so we one for all, it does a lot of things and takes up no space. I've discovered this make called Premax. They're, they're made in Italy. And they've got a, a quite an interesting bearing system in it. I think they're stainless steel alumi and aluminium bearings. They're like Teflon washers and rings. I think the blue is a Teflon. Now, it's not your, your standard. It pivots very, very freely. But the spring action comes from this piece, which is held back in place by a magnet. So we'll sit, sit proud like that. Once you're finished, pop that away. And it's held in force by a magnet. Superb, fantastic quality. Not the cheapest, but I would say probably amongst the best. Matching tweezers. 
Again, Premax made in Italy, fantastic. And then a wee pair of uh, pointed nippers. Just for going around the fingernails and toenails. This they make called Blizzard, made in England. I think it's, I think they're made in Sheffield. I think they are, and they're uh, sort of chiropodist spec. Again, okay, not the cheapest, but you try the cheaper things, and they're all they're not good. They don't last. They don't get good, give good cuts. They rust up easily. These don't. These are the best. You know, you buy them right and buy them once. If you buy cheap ones, you replace them every every year. You know, it's a bit silly. You're always compromising. Whenever things are affordable, they're wee luxuries or wee uh, extravagances. I like the, the like of that, you know. What is it? An eighty pound brush or something like that. It's a, it's a luxury. It's an extravagance. You don't need to spend it. You can buy a perfectly good one for five pounds in Tesco's. But you know, why not? Why not? You you get the enjoyment you get out of it, and you'll have that for a lifetime. Yeah, you will, unless you lose it. <laughs> so, I think that rounds up this wee bag. Obviously, there's a couple of bits and pieces missing out of it. Uh, if you really want to go hardcore, you can buy Badger Bristle toothbrushes, where it's like a mock ivory. It's now, uh, as this says, it's some sort of plastic resin. It's designed to be ivory-esque. With the badger bristle sewn into it, but I I wouldn't get along well with that now. I definitely wouldn't. But it's an option. It's an option. So thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, some really interesting things in it. I'm sure that ninety percent of people will find it a bit boring, but it's the wee things that I enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.